So, I wanted to review the Animals for Monster, a fantastic creature's alphabet. Written by J. Patrick Lewis, illustrated by Gerard Kelly. So first, I had to turn this book away from me because it was creepy. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's supposed to be creepy, but um, it's not for the little sensitive ones who don't like monsters. Um, I guess is the easiest way to say it. <laughs> That might be kind of a silly thing to say, but um, some monsters are cuter than others. Um, like the Never Touch a Monster, way cute. That thing's adorable, cute as a button. Um, these ones are actually creepy, which can be a pro. So especially if you've got older kids um, who the alphabet is not really a great fit for, or you have little ones, um, like, like siblings and the little one doesn't have nightmares this is probably a good option because it's got a really good um breadth for ages so m is for monster by j patrick lewis illustrated by gerard kelly and it's kind of hard to see but because of the light but like you can see like, the monster chasing after this person so the art is gorgeous and it's got your uppercase your lowercase and it's got like a little kind of um, almost poem feel. So A is for Amarok. The Inuit were afraid of Amarok, a wicked wolf that pounced to attack. And some who dared the forest of the night, unluckily would not be coming back. So we've got some rhyming. Um, and then we've actually got a description of the legend. So in the Inuit legend, um, and so that part is really nice, is that you have your extra description right here on the side um so we've got our uppercase lowercase um rhyming poem very beautiful image description of the story some of it has pronunciation so like yaga is pronounced here but like for example let me go back to jintian here uh jintian there's no pronunciation on this one, which I think would really be helpful because most people reading English are going to have absolutely no idea how to pronounce this. And I probably still pronounced it wrong, even though I've seen pronunciation guides before. But I really love the inclusion of humans and there's activity. So like all of the monsters are interactive. So they're doing something. So the Jersey Devil here is perching, but there's also cars driving. So every single one of these images is active and interesting and a little creepy if um, you're into that. Not all of them are, but this one's not that creepy. Um, but um, it's gorgeous. I really recommend this one for anybody who's got um, people who are interested in the story. So in the stories of, of plants, if you want to get the kind of... Um, alliterative or um, not alliterative, but the rhyming poems those are fun um, so there's just a lot kind of going on in this book and I really like that um, Sleeping Bear Press and I said just gorgeous it's really just gorgeous art um, so I'm gonna say thumbs up for creepy <laughs> thumbs up for creepy thumbs down for creepy very mixed on that one um because kraken is all about the creepy and leviathan really loves some butterflies um so probably not this one but um the other ones he really likes um and i said it's it's really great for if you're just going to read the poem part um, that's got the rhyming and then it's got the optional reading so they can kind of read more here um, so it's just kind of a fun book that kind of is potentially going to grow with their age so I'd say anywhere from probably four up um, if you have some really sensitive ones maybe not so much um, if they're gonna be a, <laughs> I suppose if you're gonna read monster books they probably are too sensitive but yes, so I'm going to say this one um, is a good book to buy if you like monsters, if you want something that is beautiful art, potentially um, more interest 
for children or adults. It's a good collection. Um, as far as get your 26 monsters. A through Z. But um, I'm going to say overall thumbs up. <laughs> well, thanks so much for listening and you have a great day.